Now for this week's Power Profile. This week on Power Profiles, we traveled to the interior of British Columbia, to Okanagan Lake, the home of the infamous sea monster, Ogopogo. But we're not here to look for the sea monster. We're here to test a new family cruiser from Campion Marine, the Alante LX-825. Like all Campions, the Alante LX-825 features their patented Apex hull design, which results in improved time to plane and stability at high speeds. The cockpit has plenty of seating, with a curved transom seat that flows into a sun lounger to port and a curved settee to starboard. Time at the helm will be a real pleasure due to the adjustable tilt wheel and the double wide helm seat with fold up bolster for standing and sitting comfort. The helm is stylish and well laid out so essential instruments can be scanned in a glance. And standard are trim controls with indicators and competition style shifter and throttle. And this was an ingenious use of space, the optional chart plotter built into the glove box. Molded in steps and a solid stainless grab rail make access to the foredeck a breeze. With both the optional spotlight and Campion's signature docking lights, docking after sunset would be a snap. Entertaining on deck is made easy with a standard wet bar, an optional ice maker, or refrigerator. And when it's time for some alfresco dining, the cockpit table is readily accessed from its storage location ahead of the engine below decks. And it's also easily converted into a sun lounger. Back here you can really tell that Campion has their act together in designing a family boat suitable for cruising and water sports. In the platform, there's a large self-draining wet storage locker a four-rung stainless steel ladder with a micro switch here so you can tell if your ladder is up or down from the helm. Hot and cold freshwater shower, a couple of cup holders, two large storage lockers, one here, and in the starboard transom locker, they've thoughtfully located the battery switch. At the bottom of the companionway stairs, the bright cabin features an easy-to-care-for fiberglass inner liner and a gracious amount of headroom. To port is the galley, equipped with a single burner alcohol electric stove and deep stainless sink. And for those family dinners below, the combination V-berth dinette provides ample seating for four or more. The head has all the standard accoutrements, and with a fiberglass liner, it's easy to clean and care for. And for overnight comfort, the aft cabin features a queen mattress, headboard storage, and good recessed lighting. In the power department, a large bifold hatch provides great access to the Mercruiser 496 mag. A standard item is a water drain system that uses an air pump to remove water from the cooling side of the engine to help extend your boating season. Our test boat sported a Bravo 1 drive and a 19-inch Mercury Revolution 4 stainless prop. Acceleration times were acceptable, but our test boat was a prototype, and in the future, all 496 bags will be equipped with a Bravo 3 drive, turning dual stainless counter-rotating props that will push the Alani onto plane in four and a half seconds. Visibility from the helm was excellent, and all of the instruments and controls were well-placed for keeping an eye and hand on things as we put the Alani through its paces on a gorgeous fall day. Handling was right on the money with the Apex hull delivering a solid, quiet ride. Tucking the drive in on the turns allowed this 27-footer to carve around nicely. With a light load to 375 horsepower, multi-port fuel injected, Mercruiser 496 mag pushed the Alani to a top speed of 43 miles per hour at 4,850 RPM. And it will do 45 with a Bravo 3 drive. The Alante LX25 is available with a range of single and twin power to a maximum of 425 horsepower, which would certainly make this family cruiser quite the performer. Well, we didn't find Ogopogo on this trip to Okanagan Lake, but what we did find was a versatile family cruiser in the Campion Alante LX825.